Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Playthrough and we're on episode 3. Now I started this a few weeks ago and was having quite a few issues with the game so we stopped and I've been off trying to find some vehicle locations and upgrades and all sorts of other stuff and it's time to get back to Black River and crack on with the game. So now I've done a few missions already. Now the missions we're concentrating on today are the rock slide and we're going to do the wooden bridge as well to get all the roads opened up so we can start moving across the map with ease now i have got this Tega truck and it's unbelievable i've been uh, flying around in it doing a few missions here and there and it just really kicks some ass it's the first truck what i'm like yeah loving it and I bought two of them, where you can't be having two of them. So the first thing we've got to do, we've got a trailer just down here with some metal planks on for the rock slide. And then we also have some uh, service spare parts, which were on the back of a trailer, but they glitched out and we lost them. And the same with the ones, now I did leave them here but they seem to have disappeared right so it seems to yeah if you come back in a game what happened is I lifted one I had five sp service spare parts on the back of that trailer I lifted one up and as I lifted the one up the two glitched through the bottom so as you come back into the game now, all of them what were on the ground have disappeared. So there's me trying to get organised and you think, yep, that'll help. And no, it won't help because they've disappeared. So we'll have to go and get some more. The sooner this game gets sorted, the better it really is. Right. Now the service spare parts are up right up at the warehouse but I think we have some another location so we probably shouldn't be going this way but we're in an off-road truck and it doesn't matter this is what this Tega is all about I just haven't got this stuck yet haven't used it loads but I just hasn't got it stuck now we take this back out on the main roadway and hopefully we get a bit of more sunlight as well because the sun's starting to come through because don't like the dark too much it's all right when you've got some headlights on like those but we still haven't got headlights working and then we will come back up and do the wooden bridge and then that's that opened up we can start doing the other missions basically where we're not going to bother with tasks too much we're just going to get on with other missions Right, so we've just done the bridge on the outside, on the side of the map there. On the outside, what am I on about? Right, slow it down a little bit, get right there. Whoa, that was close, that was close. So let's have a quick look on the map and see where we're going. And basically we're going the service spare parts. Now I think there is some on that trailer there. We've tried and locate that trailer, which is that one. Yeah, it says service spare parts is there, so we might be able to take the one down and come back and get that because I haven't got a crane with me. I, that's why I brought the crane down to that other location. We were going to load it on, and jobs are good, in, but no, they disappear when you leave the game. How annoying is that? They must have to be strapped down then because they were unpacked on the back of the trailer. But never mind, you live and learn. Now I know, make sure they're all packed, otherwise we're going to have problems. Oh, oh. But this truck just pulls, it's great. 
proper nice workhorse so let's get a bit of fuel it is a little bit thirsty but onward to the rock slide and then I've just got the power lines to do as well and I think that is pretty much all the routes through the map are opened up so we can start doing all the missions now I'll probably do these episodes about 20, 20 minutes to 30 minutes something like that depending on what we're doing I just had a thought we could drop that one off there I'm sure nobody will know about that and then we can go and get this other one we've got the service parts on the back then go over to the what is it it is the town store isn't it it's the town store no not that one well come on back it up now town store and then we can get some more steel planks which I can load on the back of here and then we can do it all in one hit because we've got this trailer now I dragged this down here on I think it was day one I came down with this one but that has got one service part which we can have on there so let's hook that up and then we can go and get some steel girders so it worked out pretty good in the end what an appropriate saddle he worked on the other one you're telling me it's not going to hook up to that one oh it is. come on let's get out of here because it's a little bit close whoa um, do we want to be going down that way not really we want to be going back the way we came so this would be interesting reversing this one up yeah it doesn't want to steer that that well as long as we got a bit of steering it doesn't matter whoa okay so we can turn it around now yeah it is quite restricted on the steering which you'd expect but it doesn't matter we're gonna get there we can reverse that and I should be able to get out then Right, so we've learned you've got to be careful with certain traders, they will attach, but it, it doesn't steer very well. But we can get right now, that's fine. We can cope with that. So now if we go right into... So I may as well just drop that off there, rather. Go and get some steel. some of that lovely and that'll be the rock side slide complete cool now I am going to start doing a, another playlist on, and that will be because this one is slightly cheated I've got a little bit quite a bit of money now a couple of million anyway as I need that for when we get these mods coming out we're gonna be able to have a look and see what's going on with them so that is why I've done that. So this series on, well, this snow runner playthrough is just we're going to go through and just have a go through some of the missions. I want to get the big missions and start doing them on multiplayer, ideally. Now is this the right way? Yeah, because we are heading straight down there. And it'd be the same on the on the other one I do because we'd do that start from scratch, go through everything basically but uh, I got a bit sidetracked just looking for vehicle locations and other bits and bobs so 
this game is a, well I haven't done loads of missions I think there's about 30 which most of them are just vehicle contracts and what have you so let's get this and the one thing I found with this Tega it slows down and it go to a stop and then all of a sudden just change function change come on get up there but a nice truck really is I just well I like the idea of having better trucks from the start because otherwise you find a lot of these games are just struggling so much until you get a decent truck you can get on with right so cargo management we'll unload some of that and unload some of that task complete we'll have those XP and 1600 credits or pounds so now that whole run is fine we can get down there the only one we've got now is the wooden bridge just there and I do have a trailer just there with another my other targa on it so we've got a load of planks oh and that's disconnected we don't want that attach there we go whoa there we go close functions so annoying when it does that right now we are heading the right way aren't we yeah all we got to do is go down this road and we may as well swing a swing a left just the truck so we can go off road that was what I found when you start playing it where some of the vehicles there are uh, you just got to stay out of the mud if you stay out of the mud you're going to get stuck or you just play with a friend play with somebody else and then you've got somebody to pull you out all the time but you'll see how well this performs now so we've got a full load on there and this just gets the job done it really does I've just unlocked all the tyres as well now so we've got all the big mud tyres I haven't managed to give them a go yet there we go and also got the extended winch which makes a huge difference right so we just yeah we're just following this road all the way down aren't we we are and hopefully we're not going to roll it we're going to be fine oh uh, look just powers ahead into the mud, down the gear, and just straight out that other side. Whoa, I hate that camera collision, it's so annoying. But I'll tell you what, controlling these vehicles is a, a learning curve in wheel action on. Never use one. Well, I had to go on one many years ago, so I'll be buying one of them as soon as they've got it all sorted. Come on now, now watch this truck, it just pulled straight up here, full load. Let's get on with it, unbelievable. And what, what I did like about this crossing as well, where you can still drive across it, where some of them, it's like, no, you're not getting through there. And this one, no problems with it. You can go down the right-hand side there. Pretty cool. Show task. Details. Wooden planks. Yep, we've already got them. And there is the bridge. Hundred and twenty XP and a bit more money. Right, so if we go into the, the task we've got to do still is the fallen power line. That's the only one what we got missing, which is blocking the way. 
and that one wanted some concrete blocks now I did have a look to see down at one of these trailers no that's got steel hasn't it that one had concrete no it didn't so yeah we need concrete block there but it needs to be done as we've got the pallets of metal so we can bring that on the way back so this one I may as well just get across the bridge get it on some on some nice even non muddy surface so it's not going to sink in and we jump in the other Dega come on get up there leave that there stop the engine jump into that one and we could probably reverse that back can't we reverse that back up to there that's got a little bit of steering on it and I don't need this trailer anyway we'll leave that there because a lot of these will be taken through to the next map and what have you so if it's got something on there we may as well leave it there it's closer to the way out and then we can just go back down pick, pick up these metal planks go and drop them off at the fallen power line and then all it needs is a couple of concrete blocks loving this truck really good nice bit of kit Now I did go and buy the Navstar, I was having an iron and it was like well, I, well I'll get it and I haven't had a go with it yet but uh, at least it's one of those trucks you can buy and all, a lot of the op upgrades are ready to go. Right I think we'll do, we'll go around the block we can drive through there maybe that camera collision is oh typical I thought yeah we'll be alright on that one no we won't we'll just go around the block like I said trouble with this game you start doing one thing and it's so easy to come across problems and start having to spend half hour to get your truck Right, but we're not going to have those issues with this Tigo anyway, hopefully. Come on, get around there. And then we've got the first, you can see at the top corner of the screen there, the oil rig restoration. Stop tracking on it and it just keeps popping up. I don't know, don't know what's going on. I have managed to finish a couple of the vehicle missions which you finished it and you didn't get the vehicle where they've actually I've got the vehicle now and while we're going past fuel we've always got to stop for fuel and it's nice you don't have to stop right now this time we go a bit slower so I don't damage the truck There we go. And I hope you can't hear my dog snoring away. He's uh, he's fast asleep. Right, so let's get this on down the road. I wish we did have a little mini map though. You could just see that as a little point of reference. That's all you need half the time. But I'm getting to know my way around now anyway. Whoa, whoa, stop. There we go. But overall, the game absolutely looks awesome. The playability has been a bit of a pain in the ass with it crashing, but I haven't had it crash for a few days now. But well, I haven't been in multiplayer for a few days either, but I haven't had any problems with it. 
Whoa, didn't see that rock there. And there is the pylon. And I bet we can't get past, can we? No. Show the task. Except. So all we need now is concrete blocks. Right, well that wasn't too bad. We've got quite a few bits done. Didn't, didn't think about coming back down there again that way. I was like, yeah, we're going to get stuck here, aren't we? Right, we'll call it there for today, I think, because I've got to go up to the top of the map and go and get the service uh, spare parts. And that's from the warehouse. So we will start off the next episode up at the warehouse. I think we have the best thing. And we crack on with this snow and a playthrough through. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Oh yeah, and you know you're gonna get stuck if you go over that way, aren't you? Whoa! Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, then it'd be nice to catch you on the next one.